Hello, Lulas. So I'm here with the micros. <laughs> um, like I mentioned before, this um, this is I think her name is Nina, and she is by Victoria something P, but more known of as Tory Dolls. And I've always been curious about her little babies, and so um, I purchased her recently. Um, I paid seventeen fifty for her. I am now trying to sell her for um, $1,650, $1,650, I can't seem to find that one sock, so she will probably come out, come without her, that one pair of socks, booties, the purple pair, but everything else she will have that will come with her. Um, I'm gonna double look because I did a box opening like in the car when I opened her up. So, um, but like I said, she's she's 16 inches. Um, I thought she was gonna be a little bit bigger than that. This is a regular preemie size onesie that she's wearing. Um, let me see. It's, but you know, I guess because she's have the length, it it does fit on her as you can see but um I was kind of shocked that she actually could fit it but yeah it's she does fit it um she is she does have tip tip nails um she has a drinking wet she has a drinking wet um she has armatures in her arm she's just she is poured in one piece and um as you can see, she's poured in, in one piece. She has, um, her hair is, is beautifully rooted. Um, it's a dark brown color. And, um, she has rooted eyelashes as well. She has a little belly, but she does she does have her belt this is her little belly but she can she has a little um umbilical cord that come came with her i have not opened her package up from the artist because i wanted to keep it sealed for the new mommy but she does have that as well um i had these little handmaids from serena and so i'll take these off she has one open hand. She has one open hand and one fist. And like I said, her nails are tipped. Let me see if you guys can see. So they are, she does have tipped nails. And her silicone does wrinkle. Um, she is very soft. Um, so her head does fall back, you know, is, and her sculpt is actually, um, she does have, her sculpting is beautiful actually. Um, so yeah, so that, that is, that is this little one. Um, I like the name Nina, so I kept putting as Nina. Um, but yeah, she's, she's smooth. So yeah, her armatures are pretty cool. They seem to go in or out like that. So, um, yeah. So she's painted very, a very, uh, very, very Caucasian color with more like a pinky um, tone to her. Um, but like I said, I'm asking for at least sixteen fifty. I don't want to lose too much money on her. I know I'm gonna lose some because I, you know, she's already been here. She's been here for like a week, or has it been? Yeah, it's been a week at least. Um, maybe two weeks. I don't know. But um, so I know she's gonna. I'm gonna lose some money because she's not brand new, but. Um, I just want to, 
Now, she doesn't have armatures in her legs, so her legs are very floppy, which is pretty cool. Um, I would have loved for my Lola to not have armatures in her legs, but then, like I told you guys before, I really enjoy it. Now, Lola is 15 inches, and she's like, I still got to do some matting right here in the inside of her leg where I totally missed that part. Um, but I've only matted her once. I didn't do any touch-ups on her. I was just anxious to play with her. So, <clears throat> so she is painted by myself though. Um, you wanna hold her socks so your feet don't get cold? Oh yeah, and she has, this baby has all separate toes. So it's pretty cool. Um, Lola does too, but, which is Penelope. Um, you know, it, it's really nice when you have the little ones though. I won't lie, like it, it's like it's, they don't, I don't think they get boring because you're constantly finding little cute things, um, for them. And her mouth actually sh stretches open enough to where she could take a, like a pacifier like as you can see I can put my my finger in her mouth so she can she can actually take a regular pacifier um do I have one over here um but I would give her the little one just because not to cover her whole face or one of the um jolly pop ones will work as well um so her mouth is like that so she could take a bottle because she has a drinking wet. So so she has a wide enough mouth for she could take a bottle. And I did test her drinking wet out and it is working. So she does pee pee. Um, Penelope does not have a drinking wet. So you know what? I'm going to take their clothes off. I'm going to root Penelope myself eventually. Um... Right now, Penelope is not for sale, um, but that may change. Um, like I said, it's a lot of babies that I may let go, and it's going to be drastic. Now I just put your socks on only to take your clothes off. Because I think sometimes you can see the babies better when they look at their size without the clothes. So... I'm telling you, like, they're so sweet when they're little like this. I don't know. Like, had I not, um, because I had changed my mind. I was like, oh, I'm going to keep her. And I was going to um, add a little bit more color to her and stuff. And that's another thing. If you paint silicone and you want a baby to uh, practice on or, you know, do a little of this and a little of that with, She'll be great for that, too, because she's actually less than a blank kit cost. You know, the blank kits cost starts at like 2000 and something. And she has all the features. And she's still less. So that's another thing. She's a good project. to, And because she's so light, it'll be easy to, to go AA on her or biracial on her. Which is what I actually, to be honest, I really, that was my intention. To make her like a light AA when she got here. But I just had already did too much. Um, and it took, because it took, she got stuck in transit. So it took her like, I don't know, maybe three weeks or so. And within that time, I already got another baby, blah, 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 blah. And it was just like, well, you know. So yeah, so her head is more narrow so she's she's a little bit more petite but like if i was to stretch her leg out and stretch lola leg out i don't know if you guys can see that but she's a good bit longer so i think that's why she could easily wear um the premium onesie so and you could still ball her her little legs up now she has armature so hers definitely balls up nicely but yeah, even straightened out, she's she's way longer than her. 
and actually if I did well I can't do ear to ear let's top of their head here she's a baldy <laughs> so her head is bigger Lola's head is bigger to me um I can't do ear to ear because their ears are in different spots so I could do top from head to head so from head to head She's, she's still a bit longer, if that helps. <laughs> Look at your little body. So, yeah, this is her flexibility. She just, like, her little head goes back. But see, when you have, like I said, when you have the um, armatures in them, it helps them, like, hold their, their pose, like, they won't flop as much versus she has armatures in her arms, but not in her legs. So her legs are going to dangle, dangle more, but she's very soft. Like I said, she will. And like I said, she wrinkles. She'll bend. She'll bend all the way in. Um, very, very nice silicone. So, see, I'm a flexible. I'm a flexible. Penelope is flexible too. She'll she'll bend too. She just she's thicker in the stomach, so her tummy is not as as flexible. But look at that little sweetie. Oh, why she wish she wish wish. Um. Yeah, she wrinkles. Penelope wrinkles too. So yeah, I'm gonna, like I said, I, I'm gonna root her. She hasn't had a little bath or anything. I haven't did none of that with them um, other than her when I was washing the mat now. She, I may actually go ahead and mat her um, in the next few days just to go ahead and get it out of the way. Do a another mat and get all the shiny spots that I missed on her so that she's good. And then um, because I am gonna get her some hair and so she's gonna have probably I don't know if I want to do baby fine hair or curly hair I was thinking of doing you know some baby soft curls um on her so I might do that but either way it goes she's gonna have a head full of hair because um or at least some hair she needs hair so that is that um like I said, it's uh, one of those things where I'm going to have a lot of babies going up for sale. Um, some that you guys, you know, may be interested in, some you may not. Um, once I get them all together and decide for sure who's, who's going where and all that great jazz, then I will do a video and some will go on eBay. Um, and some will just be sold straight out, you know, just all depends on how they, how fast they go and all that great jazz. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's hard when you're trying to, to sell them. Um, but yeah, that's it. That is all folks. That is all, that is all, that is all. So, look at this sweetie pie. She does good with her finger in her mouth and she suck a little dummy she's actually pretty cute I I actually um I really do like her I even thought about well maybe I just I, I still keep going that way that's why she's not on eBay right now it's like uh should I should I not but yeah if somebody message me with the money I, I will sell her but if she's not sold by the time I get done with my other projects, I may just paint her a little bit more and um, keep her. But I don't know. So, but yeah, that's that's that. Um, so yeah, um, if you're interested in 
and then please message me on Facebook. I prefer Facebook or Instagram. Um, I do have an email address, but with all the scams that go on and stuff like that, I prefer to have you contact me from your profile so I can kind of know who I'm dealing with type thing. So yeah, that's that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching again. And again, I don't know. I, I'm calling her still, she was listed as a preemie, but I'm still calling her micro preemie, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she is still considered preemie at 16 inches. Um, you guys let me know what you think it should I, also, I don't know, am I calling her the wrong thing? Is she really preemie? Is this really what we call preemie? Or am I calling her the right thing by saying she's micro preemie? I don't know. So I hope, you know, but I'm just, I just want people to know what the real size is. I don't want no surprises. Like, you know, I was really surprised that she was smaller and you know, I was thinking she was going to be like more like the Tiana size, but no. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.